morning and welcome to, as you can see, Wembley. What a journey that was. That was actually quite fun. Coaches all the way. Yes, please. It is fun. Anyway, we're at Wembley. Um, London prices. Oh my God. 21 quid if you want a half an hour scarf. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Anyway, we are here for Wigan Warriors versus Warrington Wolves in the Challenge Cup final. This is going to be a monumental game. This is mad. We have a fan zone right here and we have the stadium right here. Unfortunately, right now, I haven't exactly got a clear view of the arch, but you can see a bit of it behind me there. Anyway, I'll just roll straight in. My prediction for the game is going to be that Wigan will get the win. It's going to be a close one. Wyatt will push us all the way, but we will get that win just, just, just. Anyway, I'm not sure how much I can actually film while I'm in there. All I know is I've got banging seats. Anyway, I'll be back with you later. Boy! It's been very difficult. Um, let's just say it's the ref show right now. So I'm going to say, Kendall, everyone has their um, thoughts on him. Basically, it's the Kendall show. Go 
forward to the video ref I think by the looks of this just to make sure so I'll be back in a second once we have a result class that as that he was down early that he had full control and he was going for it or it was a double movement I don't know I can't fully tell but I mean perfectly I would say yes it's a try but you would say I am a little bit biased because well yeah obviously I am a Wigan player but you know well not a player but I'm a Wigan fan but you know and he is one of ours <coughs> but you know we are going for it we're still in control of the game 40 minutes left. Wire could still come back and bite us, but at the moment we've still got the pot to go. Both teams have been making mistakes and been screwing up, but it's all there. We're still in contention for it. I think we're still going to do it. I think if we can get one more, then we'll definitely be in cruise control. If Wire come back and get one, then it could put the cat and pigeons and just get caught up. But we still need to just stay in control. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, catch you in the second half.
getting good, man.
the on the coach. We can get out to the coach park. Probably going to be another half an hour to an hour before we get out of here because it's absolutely bloody round at the moment. But um, you know, it's going to be uh, entertaining. The way home is definitely going to be entertaining. Um, but hey, what a game! What a game! Apart from the contra controversy at the beginning and some of the other stuff that went on, because they were basically a card in the card, so both teams got carded. So there was all sorts of issues, like, you know, both teams were down to 12 men the, uh, within the first couple of minutes, so that was obviously going to be a bit of a screw up. Getting over the line, though, in the end, yeah, 21 times. Top that. Top that. And as I've said, in and out whilst we're doing those things. There was a lot more atmosphere in there today than there was for last night's England game where they lost against Iceland. So that says it all. Wire put up a good attack but fell away again. So, you know, yeah, all right, last week both teams were weak and obviously there was a few mistakes going on. Both teams did make mistakes today. They did push it and they did get on to the end. Anyway, I'm losing my voice, I cannot speak right now. So all I'm going to say is, peace out, goodbye. If you want to help with the quest for 500, you give it a sub up. If you uh, do see it yourself or you want to put your views down below, then stick them in the uh, good old com box. Smash that likes, share it all around. Peace out, goodbye, see you star side. Do not drive yourself insane. Good mental health people, goodbye.